It's always a pleasure to meet you and to meet your colleagues, uh, the Foreign Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister Osmani. Uh, but I would have uh, liked to see today's uh, meeting as a meeting where we can celebrate something. Uh, I hope we can do it on Friday. Uh, you have uh, spelled out clearly your expectations to the European leaders, and I think the focus should be on the notion leader. We expect uh, leadership. We expect that uh, things are assessed also in a broader picture. Uh, and I mean, if you look at the political track record of North Macedonia in the last couple of years, I think there is almost no country in Europe which has uh, gone such a long way with so many uh, difficult uh, and sometimes painful reform measures. But as you rightly said, addressing uh, your citizens, uh, it should primarily be seen as something which is in the interest of uh, North Macedonian citizens. They deserve better living conditions. They deserve uh, a perspective for themselves which enables them to stay in this beautiful country and not to be forced to migrate and to work somewhere else and to uh, so they transfer money back home. No, it should be a country where you can live and work and enjoy your free time, everything together, and you have to uh, be surrounded by your families and your friends. And this is on what we are working, not only in your country, but in all European countries. And um, I think you have, together with your team, with the uh, other political parties and different to other countries in the region, uh, you have uh, created together with the other political parties an atmosphere of uh, cooperation in the parliament uh, and um, everybody in general has played um, its role and I think as uh, Europeans as uh, we should acknowledge all these uh, um, efforts and all these achievements because you have delivered and as I said several times, if our partners deliver, we as Europeans have to deliver. And this is, I think, our joint and justified expectation for tomorrow and the day after tomorrow at uh, the European Council that indeed we get green light. We both uh, and the huge majority of member states, we don't ask for nothing more than getting green light in order preparing uh, uh, in a comprehensive and thorough manner the opening of accession negotiations. We are not talking about opening uh, or starting negotiations immediately next week. It's about a clear signal of commitment to the European perspective of a country like North Macedonia and, may I say, also Albania. This is what counts what we can expect after all the uh, measures having been taken by the two countries. And uh, I mean, we have met now uh, at the level of the General Affairs Council three times within 16 months um, to decide on this. So far it was not possible. Now it's on the level of the uh, leaders. And I hope uh, that there is a broader political assessment. Of course, it's first and foremost for the two countries, but it should also be seen as a strong signal, as an incentive uh, for the whole region. Because if all the efforts North Macedonia have successfully done and, uh, so to say, achieved, if this is not properly rewarded, there is no incentive for Serbia and Kosovo, for example, to enter into a substantial dialogue about the future coexistence of the two countries. Because the only reason to do so is the European perspective. And uh, North Macedonia could go ahead with this and uh, demonstrate, so to say, to the others uh, what it means to undergo um, 
different uh, reform measures. And um, I mean, there are so many uh, talks and speeches about Europe should become Weltpolitik fake, so the ability to play a, a role on a global scale. But if we are not able to do this in our own inner courtyard, we won't lose any credibility to do so uh, at other places in the world. So what is really at stake is Europe's accountability and uh, Europe's credibility. And I can only ask uh, our leaders to find a way uh, to give green light uh, for a process which will last a couple of years. And I fully agree also with the Prime Minister, but others, we have to work on a further, so to say, updating of our methodology. Nobody is perfect, um, but we have also to work on, so to say, uh, further reforms, further steps towards better integration and cooperation amongst the Union. But this doesn't include that we are working on the further accession of uh, members of countries from the uh, Western Balkans. Both has to be done in parallel because both will last a couple of years and we cannot do it one after the other. We have to do it in parallel. As it was said, by the way, by President Macron uh, during his last visit in Belgrade. So I think this, the, the, the issues are clear. The proposals are clear at the table. I would like to thank in that context uh, the Finnish presidency for all its uh, efforts in this respect. It was really an honest broker trying to facilitate something. And once again, uh, uh, I'm still optimistic and positive that there will be a positive outcome uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Thank you.